good day everyone welcome back to crown geek now today's video will be very important and very useful for all the windows 11 users especially the people who are looking to improve the performance of their windows 11 they want to deploy some kind of default application and the tool that i will be sharing today that will give you tons of features where you can deploy where you can add some packages where you can add some extra features and remove all unwanted junk to make the best performance for your windows 11 all right so let's quickly get it started now before you starting guys make sure that you create a restore point so that in future if you change your mind or if you want to revert the action then you can quickly do that it's very simple on your window search click and type system restore and you will be getting a suggestion create a restore point you have to click on it now here you have to click on create now in case if you don't find this create option highlighted then you can click on your local disk then click on configure and make sure that you enable the system protection and then when you will come back you will get this create option click on it now here you have to give a name so better choose a name that you can remember that on which date and for what purpose you exactly created this restore point so today is july 22nd and i can write like deep load so that this can remind me that for which purpose i created it then you have to click on create and then within few seconds this restore point will be created all right so once it's been done click on close and now you need to come to this website of github the link will be in the description and once you come up here you have to click on the right hand side that says releases so you can click on it then here you have to click on this bloaty nosy setup dot msi click on it then you have to download it once downloaded click and open the file run the wizard give the permission and the installation will now be started once completed you have to click on close and now you will see that this bloaty nosy app has been installed on your desktop so you have to double click on it to open it give the permission and this kind of neat and clean page will be coming up will be explaining you everything that how it exactly it works and what is the purpose and in the first page it says let's customize your experience select all the ways you don't plan to use your device to get personalized tip add recommendation within microsoft experience you can always revert these setting to default okay so now here you can see all the potential issues on windows 11 built that is recommended by this application or software that is recommending you to go ahead and uninstall it so if i click on the browser section you can see it says disable giant bing search ai chat button in edge browser so probably it has noticed that i don't use the edge browser where it contains the bing search ai chat button that is consuming a lot of resources and the bandwidth and even it says google chrome telemetry firefox telemetry so which i'm not using so i will keep this option checked Similarly, you can click on all the options here and see whichever you are not using, keep them checked. Uh, for example, if I click on the taskbar in the start menu, so it says hide search bar icon on taskbar. Now below where you see the search bar icon here, so what happened that there is a one search bar over here and one you have over here. So it's recommending instead of using two search bar, you should switch to one so that you can get the best performance. All right, now there are many more things that you can check it out. You can click on every section here. And once you are done, you have to click on analyze. And now this will be analyzing and let you know that what exactly you should remove and what you should keep. Then you have to click on fix, click on apply fix, then click on yes. And all these search items and the selected item will be disabled. And now you can see below that my search bar just disappeared. So this was the first part. Now in the same box at the left hand corner where it says find more app, click on the drop down. Then you have many other options like bloat pilot. And if you click on it, it says 40 apps installed. And these are the application I'm very sure that you recognize or you have never used it. So whichever you don't identify or you feel that you don't need it, you have to click on it then click on move to just put in the recycle bin section similarly you can scroll down and if you don't use the camera or any other feature 
then you can click on move i've already did that before so i'm not getting only few application most of the unwanted application i have already disabled so you have to look everything here like windows map i will move it feedback hub i will move it xbox if you don't use the xbox you can move it so just take your time and look all the application listed here whichever you don't need just move it on the right hand side in the recycle bin and once you are completely done click on empty bin and remove apps then click on yes and within few seconds all these applications will be uninstalled so you can manage everything from one box and you don't have to manually go over windows features okay so once you are done with this you can go back and again on this page if you click on this drop down you get another option of win modder and here you can see that i have already installed few mod but when you will come to this page you will see that it says no mod installed so what you will have to do you need to click on explore mod then you will see all kind of mod listed here so whichever you need you can select them and download it for example there is a chris titus tech windows utility that is a very important tool to debloat the windows 11 so you can check this option then you have clean up windows remove telemetry and then you have enable ultimate performance mode so in case if you don't have the ultimate performance power plan on your computer then you can check this option as well so whichever you need here so what i will recommend you should go with chris titus you can click and choose the gaming preset debloat preset clean up windows remove telemetry enable ultimate performance mode if you don't have this one then update microsoft store app remove telemetry of third party apps so these are the recommended from my side rest is it's all up to you whichever you want to choose then finally you will have to click on download and install mods once it will be downloaded you will see all the mod installed listed over here so whichever you want to run let's say if you want to enable the ultimate performance so you can select this option then click on apply click on yes and now it will be enabled on your computer similarly if you want to run any other tool so whichever option you want to apply you have to select it and then you have to click on apply and this will be surely applied on your computer all right so now the next one that we have is the insta package and when you click on it you will find many kind of packages like zip adobe AnyDesk, audacity there are many kind of application that many windows 11 users need and all application you will find over here like brace software discord and git git gimp github google chrome microsoft skype microsoft team visual studio firefox thunderbird opera notepad plus plus oracle many of the packages are available over here so whichever you need you just need to click on it then click on add and then this will be added to the install packages so select everything that you want to add then finally you have to click on download and install packages and all these packages and application will be installed on your computer so similarly you can manage remove customize and add application on your computer on your windows 11 by just one single application now once you are done with all these settings do not forget to restart your computer and then you will finally notice the great change and you will find that your performance of windows 11 has been boosted so hopefully guys you will find this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video Bye bye